and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Forge in Minecraft 1.13. This is very much so the beta of Forge 1.13, but it is in fact 1.13 Forge nonetheless. There currently aren't too many mods you can run with it, and those that you can are very, very, very buggy to say the least. But I thought I would go ahead and do this video because so many people ask me, Nick, I've seen you have 1.13 Forge. How did you get it? And well, this is how I got it, using the publicly available beta. But not many people know how to get to the beta or where to find it, so I thought I'd show you how to get it and where to download it and all that stuff. But first and foremost, before we install Forge, we actually just need to run Minecraft 1.13. So we need to open up our Minecraft launcher here. We need to go over to Launch Options, and then we can create a new profile by clicking on Add New up here. And then we can name this profile whatever we want. I'm just going to name it Play.BreakdownCraft.com. Why am I doing that? Oh yeah, because Play.BreakdownCraft.com is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We are a 1.13.2 Grief Protected Survival Server. If you're looking for an incredible 1.13.2 Survival Experience, Grief Protected, like I said, all of that stuff. We've got ranks, we've got kits, we've got crates, everything you would like. We've got jobs, custom jobs on the server. Come play with us at Play.BreakdownCraft.com. But nonetheless, once you're here, you can go ahead and change your version from latest release to, if we scroll down quite a ways, release 1.13. You see that? Release 1.13 there. Click on that, and then I'm going to change the resolution. You don't need to do that, but I just do it so you guys will be able to see the game. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click Save, come back over here to News, and then we want to click the little green arrow next to the Play button and click on Play.BreakdownCraft.com right there, and then click Play. While Minecraft is opening up, I am going to go ahead and say this. This video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft. Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected server, even a modded server running for, for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much that we use them ourselves for play.breakdowncraft.com. Nevertheless, again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, it should say Minecraft 1.13 at the top. You can instantly close out of it. We don't need it open anymore. Now we want to go to the description down below. Go to the second link down below down there, and it will take you here. Now, once for is actually released, it will take you to our tutorial on Forge right here, right? But when Forge is in beta, it will take you directly to this page. If Forge isn't in beta anymore, it'll take you here to our tutorial on how to install Forge. However, if Forge is still in beta, it will take you directly to this page. Once you're on this page, you can go ahead and click on the download installer button right there. See that installer button? Go ahead and click on that install button and it will take us off to add focus here. Once you're on add focus you can see in the top right please wait five four three two one don't click anything on this page did you click something stop it don't click anything except the skip button in the top right that appears after five seconds click on that skip button in the top right on google chrome you will have to download the file in the bottom right you'll have to keep it it is 100 percent safe this is from forge's official website you can check the url if you go back a page there, you'll be able to check the URL and see that it is, in fact, Forge's official website. However, you can go ahead and keep the file. It's 100% safe. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, you have to click Save File here. And now we go ahead and minimize our browser. On our desktop, we do have Forge 1.13. Now, here's the deal. If it's not on your desktop, don't freak out about it. Just click on the Windows button in the top left of my screen. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that and then type in Downloads exactly like so. Click on your Downloads folder here. You'll find Forge in your downloads folder. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Forge is on your desktop, we need to get it installed. This is a very simple thing to do. All you need to do is left click on Forge, click on open with, and then you should have Java TM platform SC binary here. If you don't, what do you do? Well, don't freak out. It's all right. We got you covered. Just go to the description of this video and go to the Java link down there. This is to install the Java SDK or JDK. Basically, stands for the Java Development Kit. You need this to run not only Forge, but Optifine and all sorts of other Minecraft mods. So if you have an issue, don't have Java SDK there or Java Platform SC Binary specifically, if you don't have that on the open with screen, you need to come down here and download this. If you do have that and it's still not working, you need to get the jar fix right here, right? And this is how you can use the jar fix to repair jar files on your computer and make them work again. Basically, how to use the jar fix to repair jar files on your PC. This walks you through everything, download the jar fix here, run it, all of that awesome stuff, and then uh, you'll be up and running with any Java files you are having issue with. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser here, and then on our desktop again, we can right click, 
open with, and then we want to open this with Java TM Platform SC Binary. Click on OK, and it will open up the Forge installer. This is very similar to the old Forge installer here. We want to make sure Install Client is selected, and then we want to click OK. It's now going to download and build and do everything it needs to do to get Forge installed. This is very much so in beta, so if it fails for you, I'm going to show you what to do here. So build processors whenever this is finished, and it says successfully built. There it is, successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Click OK. Okay. If you have any issues, here's what you want to do. You want to come back to the link that is in the description, and it's this link right here. It takes us here. What we want to do, by the way, it's very weird. It thinks I have an ad blocker, and then it loads ads. The weirdest thing. But nevertheless, you want to come back here and click on the show all versions, and then you'll be able to download an older version with the installer. I wouldn't go back more than two versions, but let's say the version you're working on isn't working, and it's February 6th, as we can see right here. That's today. Well, you could go back to the one on February 5th or the previous day to be able to get that. They're updating Forge like crazy right now to push it for a final release, but I want to get this video out to show you how to install it even with beta. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser here. We can go ahead and actually open up Minecraft because we got that successfully installed client profile Forge. Now when we open up Minecraft, we're just going to see the Minecraft launcher here. Now we want to click on the little green arrow next to the play button and we should have a Forge profile and we do. And under where it says Forge, it just say 1.13 dashboards. If you have that, click on it and click play. If not, come back over to launch options here. Find that play.breakdowncraft.com profile. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse, everybody. Type that IP in play.breakdowncraft.com directly into Minecraft Java and come play with us. You will absolutely love it. But nevertheless, once you're here, you want to click on the version, right here next to version, where it says release 1.13 and then you want to find 1.13 dash Forge. Now, Forge versions used to be at the bottom, but that's not the case anymore. They're actually usually towards the top, so it's kind of flipped on us, but here it is. And if you have two of these, you want to click the one with the highest number at the end. I have two because I've installed Forge previously, but we're going to go ahead and click on that click save and now if we go back over to news we want to click on the little arrow right here next to the play button and then click on the play.breakdowncraft.com profile with our 1.13-forge version it should say 1.13-forge right under the play button click play and then i already have minecraft open let me go ahead and close out of that real quick cancel click play now it'll go ahead and open up without that start anyway issue and it will get forge up and running in 1.13 now you might be asking nick what about mods? Well, I'll show you how to install some mods here. However, I'm not going to install any because they're so buggy, right? Overall, this is just something kind of cool. If you want to make your own 1.13 Forge mods, this is something you can use to kind of beta test it and everything. But overall, it's not meant for you to be able to install mods and run them, and you will have bugs. I'm hoping I'll be able to show you some of the bugs when everything is up and running. So to install mods, once Forge is running, you want to click on the Windows key in the top left up here. For me, it's in the bottom left of your screen. Type in Run R U in and then right here we want to type exactly what it says percent at data percent so percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter we'll then have a dot minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder if you don't just create a mods folder mods all lowercase it's not gonna let me delete it because it's open in the background here but nevertheless once you have that mods folder drag and drop any mods you have in there if you don't have one create one mods all lowercase exactly like that but right now, I only know of two mods that work on 1.13 Forge, and both of them work on older versions, not the most recent version. That is the controlling mod and the inventory sorter mod. I will link both of those down below. I was going to do tutorials on them, but they're just pretty buggy at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and link them down below. And if you can figure out what versions of Forge they work with, you'll be able to run them. But nevertheless, we can see that Forge is up and running. We have Forge right down here in the bottom left. We are running MCP as well, which is needed for Forge. I also have the mods button here where we can in fact see that Forge is up and running. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new single player world real quick, or actually this is a 1.13 world, so we can jump into that. But the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to show you the prevalence of bugs in 1.13. 13 Forge and how this is just kind of like something fun for you to do if you want to install it mess around with stuff but overall it's not meant for you to play with do not play with this on a world that you want to keep because things will go corrupt things will go wrong it's just meant to play around with but as you can see as I was expecting the cursor in the center of the screen there all kinds of messed up if I change my texture pack that'll go away and it'll fix itself but by default all kinds of messed up and let's see there was an issue a while back where like blocks would be glitchy 
Uh, not too bad. So there used to be a glitch where blocks basically wouldn't line up and they would shake randomly and things like that. But it looks like they have fixed that since then. But overall, tons and tons and tons of different bugs. But it's also pretty laggy for uh, just vanilla Minecraft with no mods. They're working on performance is one of the last things. That way, whenever the code's all together, they can come back in and optimize it. But yeah, there you go. That is that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed me uh, showing you how to get Forge in 1.13. This is 1.13. I will go ahead and prove that by going to, let's see, as Coral was added in 1.13, I think. And so let's go ahead and place down some Coral real quick, just so you can see that is, in fact, 1.13. Also, spawn in a turtle. Because I believe they were uh, added in 113 here. Look at that coral dried out so quick. But we got some turtles there. So there you guys have it. This is, in fact, 1.13 Forge. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. But just remember, most of the issues you're having are because Forge is, in fact, in beta and very, very buggy. But anyway, guys, again, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, including content when Forge is updated. I'll be doing videos on that, talking about it, and showing you how to install tons of different Forge mods. But anyway, again... My name is Nick, this has been a very long outro, and I am out. Peace.